Today's Christian Fitness program is gonna be a full body. We're gonna do a lot of legs, but you're also gonna need some dumbbells. So go grab however many dumbbells you have in the house, spread them all out and get ready. And the music you're gonna to hear today is by Bishop James McCurdy. You're gonna love this. Yeah, oh, he's been such a blessing to us, and this music's definitely gonna bless you. All right, let's start. Go grab your dumbbells. And actually, it's gonna be a full body. So first, we're gonna do our leg exercise, and we're gonna combine the two, kind of a combination exercise. We want you to do lunges. So step back and just dip down. Beginners, just go a few inches. Intermediates, a little lower. Advanced, we wanna go down as low as we can. Okay? So just do reverse lunges. That's not enough. We're going to add our arms to it now. Okay? <laughs> so with your dumbbells, we just want to do presses. So from the front, just do a chest press up overhead, nice, slow, and controlled. Nice and slow and controlled. Since we said it's a combination show, let's put them together. Now you're going to lunge. And while you're holding your lunge, do your chest press. Okay? And then come up and switch feet. So lunge, chest press. Oh, how I and back up. You, and just continue the rest of the round. For beginners, we always do beginner, intermediate, advanced. For beginners, don't go down as low on your lunge. You may only go to here. And you don't even have to use weights. You can use no weights. Intermediates, like Lori's got a couple pounds. She's going pretty low. Advanced, I like to go down as far as you can. And then I like to pump two or three times on the press. So while your thigh is screaming from being down on that lunge for that long, <laughs> You forget that this uh, hurts your shoulders and chest as well. Pastor McCurdy is blessing us with some of his music. The whole key to this is slow, not fast, because you've got to keep your balance. Yeah, this is a great full body workout because first of all, your legs are spread far for the lunge. So you've got to balance, and then you're moving your upper body at the same time with weights. So it's a really difficult workout today. All right, Lori, tell us a little bit about uh, Pastor James McCurdy. Well, he has a MySpace page that I encourage you to go on. It's www.myspace.com, Bishop James McCurdy, and you will love his music, so go on his MySpace page. Yeah, and their whole family sings. I mean, you hear his daughter is singing right now, yeah, but the whole family sings. They're such an incredible blessing. And he's blessed our life with his ministry and his music, so we just wanted to bring that some of that to you guys and let you guys explore that. So go to his MySpace page and watch some of his videos. He's, he's ministered all over the world. Yep, and his music is all the Word of God, so it will really, really bless you and your family. So that's why we brought him to you today. Yeah, I mean, he's ministered in South Africa, all the way mm -hmm. up to the Arctic Circle, all over Europe, of course, all across the United States, but, I mean, he's been in England, he's been all over the world, Mexico, so, oh, it's all scriptural, though, and, and he lives what he sings. Yes. Incredible man of God. All right, this round, our leg exercise is going to be a jockey stance. So with your feet together and your knees close together, just come down just a little bit, just like a jockey riding in the Belmont Stakes or whatever race you want to imagine. Intermediates, a little bit lower, like Lori is. Advance, go down as far as you can. Okay, just down as far as you can. And now let's add the arms. We're gonna do a military press. So if the first round, your dumbbells were up on your chest, this round we wanna way back here on your shoulders and press them over top. Okay, so really open up the chest. More of a military press. If you had a full length bar, you would put it behind your neck. Okay, now let's combine them. So go down into a jockey stance. And then do your military press. In advanced, once again, two or three. No, 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 no. You can't go down too far on this or you lose your balance. So go down as far as you can, hold it, and then do your press. Just enjoy this music. That's what's so great about this music is it helps you take your mind off of what you're doing. <laughs> well, that's what I like about the combination. If you have a leg injury, just do the arm exercises. If you have an arm injury, just do the leg exercises. I mean, it would be nine rounds if you didn't do the arms. Just nine rounds of doing lunges and these stances. It would be a great workout just for your legs. I like my thighs start to burn. <laughs> so I concentrate on my arms. Then when my arms burn, I concentrate on my legs. Thighs. <laughs> when they both burn, I stand up. 
you're a beginner, you don't have to have weights. You can do this without weights. Did you say that? If you did, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's fine. You might want to reiterate that. The more you work out, the more oxygen you use. So they might have less oxygen to their brain. They might have forgot what we told them. <laughs> so nothing wrong with repeating it. All right, Lori, it's called Christian Fitness because why? Because we get into the Word of God. What's today's scripture? Today's scripture, I'm going to use two of them. 1 John 5, 4, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that is overcome the world, our faith. And 1 Corinthians 15, 57, but thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ gave, gives us the victory through the blood he shed on the cross for us. So when we worship him, when we pray, when we read the word of God, we become who he is. He's in us. The Holy Spirit lives in us. So he gives us the victory. Walk in that victory. Know who you are in Christ Jesus. As he shed his blood for us, he became victory for us. Amen. Amen. Love those scriptures. We'll cover those again later. So mark those in your Bible and we'll get to them again later. This round, we're going to do a horse stance. So you're a little bit wider. Jockey, you had your feet and knees together. Now we're going to come a little bit wider apart. And just beginners, just come down a few inches. Intermediates down a little more. Advanced, as low as you can go. And this is actually a workout with the dumbbells just because it's creating extra resistance for you. But since it is a combination, so let's add some arms to it. The arms, we're going to do twist presses. So as you press up, you want to twist the weights together so that your knuckles are facing each other, okay? So same thing, just press up from the shoulders and twist together. Nice, slow and controlled. Now we're going to combine them. It's a combination show. Come down into your horse, ride your horse, and twist. And back up. So down on the horse, and twist. In advance, we do a couple. can't tell you how important it is to go slow with these because every one of these takes balance. So if you go fast, you could injure, injure yourself. So move slow with these. Concentrate on what you're doing. Concentration is very, very important. Yeah, just take your time with these. And you don't need a lot of weight. I mean, we're using, what, just a couple pounds? I'm only using 10 pounds, which doesn't seem like a lot, but you multiply that times two would be 20 times, let's say if I do what, 60 of these in two minutes? 60 times 20 would be 1,200 pounds. That's a lot of weight, 1,200 pounds in two minutes? <laughs> multiply times nine rounds, that's gonna be what, over 10,000 pounds in a half an hour? Every time wow, you say that. I say that, I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> I, I was just saying, every time you say that, I think, oh gosh, do I really want to know that? <laughs> Definitely going to build up some endurance. Oh, love this. Love this music by Pastor James McCurdy. All right, we encourage you to go to our website, which is christianfitnesstv.com. And we've got, you know, merchandise on there. You can purchase DVDs there. Get a neat Christian fitness hat, shirt. What else, honey? Well, one of the things that we provide on our website is a link to all the music ministries we've used in the past because every single one of them we use all sing, worship, the Word of God. So we, it's very important to us that when you listen to music, it is all scriptural. It's all the Word of God, so it edifies you and the Spirit of the Lord that lives in you. So go to their websites. It's a link provided so that you can bless those ministries and purchase those music from yeah. those websites. Yeah, just go visit the website, learn more about them. You can go, mm -hmm. you know, we feature the Gaithers, and of course today, Bishop James McCurdy. In case you didn't write down his MySpace page, Bishop James McCurdy on MySpace, or go to ours and link to it. All right, this round, we're gonna do lunges again, which you should be familiar with, but just step back, dip down, and back up. Back, dip, and back up. Since you're familiar with that, let's add the arms. We're gonna do curls now. We did shoulders for the first three rounds. This three rounds, we're gonna work arms, biceps. Okay, so this is just regular curls, which you're pretty accustomed to, but just bring your fingernails up to your shoulder. Okay, now, add them together. Lunge. With your weights out to the side, curl. And advance, we're going to do two or three. And there's 
switch feet. Really, as Lori mentioned earlier, it's nice, slow, and controlled. Because, I mean, look how far our feet are apart. You know, this takes balance just to hold this. Now I'm swinging my arms. <laughs> it's a great full body workout. While we practiced this <laughs> there are a couple times, I fell over. <laughs> well, because your feet are in one line. So, yeah, yeah you, you're a lot less balanced the wider your feet are in one line. They're lined up, so it's difficult. Oh, what I love about this song by uh, Bishop James McCurdy, got kind of a country <laughs> twang to it, so he's got some really versatile music. That's a lot. They're fun. Yeah, go to his MySpace page. MySpace page. <laughs> And uh, bless his ministry. It is, you know what, this music will help lift you up as you work out. But even if you're just in your car, I mean, that's the best place to worship is in your car. Listen to great music. Worship in your car. Praise the Lord in your car. Yeah, and be careful what you allow into your eyes and your ears. You know, yes. Be careful what you watch on TV and be careful what kind of music you listen to. Absolutely. And that's why we wanted to feature Pastor McCurdy today because he is such a blessing. He lives what he teaches and what he preaches. Oh, good. She started right when I was going. I'll just go ahead and stop. <laughs> All right, our fitness facts today. Since we're using dumbbells, Lori, let's talk about dumbbells today. Well, one of the most important things is when you pick up weights, use your legs, pick them up with a straight posture, straight, straight back, straight spine, Absolutely. straight up using your legs. Yeah, you saw how she did that, kept her spine nice and straight, she used her thighs to lift. Same thing with these lunges. When you lunge, you don't lean forward, that's gonna really injure you. Keep your spine up nice and straight, keep nice, good posture the entire time. And I think the other thing is that they, they're called free weights for a reason. Because they're free. I mean, they aren't a machine. A machine, you're limited in motion by where the cable goes. These, I mean, look at them, they go anywhere. So <laughs> they're called free weights because you can do anything with them. But the best thing about it is they increase burning calories. They increase the number of calories that you burn. So even if it's one or two pounds, get some dumbbells for today's exercises. All right, this round you probably figured out. The legs are going to be a jockey stance. So again, feet together. You just come down like you're riding a, not a horse, but you're a jockey on a horse because <laughs> the horse stance is next. Okay. And the curls we're going to do this time are reverse curls. So you bring your knuckles up to your shoulder. Okay, so bring your knuckles to your shoulder. Last time we brought our fingernails. This time you want your palms out. Okay, so just bring your knuckles to your shoulder. Now let's combine them. So go ahead, jockey and reverse, and then you can come up. Jockey, and reverse. And advance, do a couple. Oh, this is one of my favorite songs. Yeah, we love when this song. When the Spirit of the Lord moves upon my heart. I'll pray like David prayed. <laughs> That's what we talked about earlier, all this music scriptural. Yep. And he bases it on his experiences. Yep on how the Lord's moved in his life. The Lord moves in all of our lives. And you sing and praise and worship the Lord and ask the Lord to work on your heart. He will do just that. It changes your heart. So you should ask him every day, Lord, what is it I can do to please you? How can you, how can you work and please the Lord? Change my heart, oh Lord. Yeah, when the Spirit of the Lord moves upon your heart, you would dance like David danced. <laughs> Go to his MySpace page, there's some videos on there of him dancing. Actually, we took this song from a DVD from a video, and I believe it was in uh, Albert Hall in England, is that yes. in London? Yes. And this recording is a live recording. So it does sound a little different. Oh, we encourage you to go to our website, which is ChristianFitnessTV.com, and that's where you can email us and give us your feedback. And Lori, we heard from someone in Naples, Florida recently. Yeah, her name was Kelly, and she said, Your show renews not only my faith that it's better to exercise than do nothing, but my faith in the Lord's incredible mercy, love, power, and grace. And through your program, I've discovered that 
nothing is impossible with God. You know, I have to say that again. Nothing is impossible with God. And you have to get that in your spirit and say that to yourself so that you hear you say that. Nothing is impossible with God. So keep saying that to yourself. Believe that. Have faith in that because that's what the Lord says. Nothing is impossible with God. And it goes to the scripture that we're using, which we'll cover yeah. in a minute, but focus on that scripture. Horse stance this time. You probably figured that out, right? We go lunge, jockey, horse. So just act like you're riding a horse, your feet about shoulder width apart. Go down nice, slow, and controlled. Let's bring back the arm. And then what we're going to add this time, this arm exercise, are going to be hammer curls. So this time you bring your thumb to your shoulder. So we did palms to the shoulder, we did knuckles to the shoulder, now we do thumbs up to the shoulder. And then add them together, combination show. So combine them. Go ahead, horse stance and hammer. We call this our hammer horse. <laughs> Easier way to remember it. Just go into a horse stance and do a hammer curl. So hopefully you figured out the leg exercises, right? We do the same three over and over. So the next three rounds for legs, I'll just give you a little precursor. It's going to be lunges, jockey, and horse. But we'll do different arms. We'll work triceps the next three rounds. This is a great workout. You will really feel you have accomplished a full workout on your legs and your arms and your core. Hold your stomach in while you do these exercises because they really, it, you'll benefit from that as well. Yeah, I'm dripping sweat all over the place. <laughs> I noticed that. <laughs> oh, I'm going to blame it on the studio lights. Now that I'm out of shape or anything, it's the studio lights, right? It's hot it's in here. It's hot. <laughs> or is it the workout? I don't know. I think it's a combination. <laughs> you haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> this song. We love his music ministry. He is such a blessing. We know Pastor McCurdy and we just love him. <laughs> and as we said, this was shot in London, England. He's got a full orchestra and worship band. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. You know, I love hearing him sing, but I like it when she sings that, oh, yes, when I know the round is over. <laughs> That's just as much of a blessing. All right, Lori, our fitness facts today are on dumbbells. Tell us a little bit more. Well, dumbbells require muscle coordination. So it's important that you really concentrate on what you do with them. Yeah, because as we mentioned earlier, they are free weights. So I've got to control them individually. If I had a single bar, I might cheat with one arm, especially on some of those presses. You've got to control these individually which does increase the risk of injury, okay? Because you could, you know, your wrists, I mean, they're so free, so free moving, you, you, there is a risk of injury. Just be careful, you use the right amount. That's right, that's use important. Use the right size. Yep, use the right technique, that's very important. And use good equipment, uh, you can never stress that enough. We like these because they have these neoprene handles, so as I'm sweating, like I am today, <laughs> this neoprene helps me to get a good grip, they're not gonna slip out of my hand. Yes. Most injuries happen in the weight room from people dropping weights, either plates or dropping dumbbells on their feet and their shins, so use good equipment. All right, next round, lunges. You already knew that, right? We covered that. So we're going to step back into a lunge, nice and slow, and we're going to work triceps. So this round, I like to hold them up in front of me. We're just going to extend them without hitting each other, <laughs> out to the side, just like wings. Okay, so you point your pinky up at the ceiling. Now you don't have to point your pinky out like you're drinking tea, but you understand what I'm saying, right? <laughs> aim your pinky toward the ceiling. Or better yet, how about aim your thumb toward the floor? There you so go. Now let's combine those. Run. Aim your thumb toward the floor. So as low as you're comfortable with, you can hold that. And I, I'm sorry. No, I put them on my waist. That way it gives me a good focus point, focal point. That way I'm concentrated on how I'm using my form properly. And go nice and slow. As we talked about, um, there they are free weights, so you want to control them. Go nice and slow. Don't swing out. Don't let the weight of the weight, don't let the weight swing and lift. You want to control it and use your muscles to slowly extend. I think this one in particular, you have to go slow because when you swing your arms out, you can throw yourself off balance. If you want a little extra on this one, 
extend and hold it. You can go super slow on it. Next three rounds of triceps. Three different tricep exercises. This is just the first one. We're going to work three different areas. I love that. Lift up your voice and sing. The victory. The victory. It's the scripture. Yeah, this song is all about the scripture. We have the victory through Jesus. That's right. So I love to remind people that the uh, tomb is empty. Yes. <laughs> the cross is empty. He overcame death. Yes. He is our victory. Amen. Our nutrition tip today is on popcorn. It's one of my favorites. It's actually a fairly low fat snack if you prepare it properly and eat the right type. The best way to eat it is air popped and with no butter, cheese, or salt. One cup of air pop is only 31 calories with just three calories from fat. Now the unhealthy way to eat it, if you make it in oil and use butter. That's 160 calories and 108 from fat, ouch. Here's another tip. Be careful at the grocery store. Read the label and check the serving size. We found a supposedly 94% fat-free buttered popcorn that actually had 131 calories, including 23 from fat. Hardly fat-free, especially when you compare that to Air Pop. Our nutrition tip today, enjoy a snack, but make it low fat. I love popcorn, so make sure you eat the right type and share that with your friends. Jockey stance. You already knew that, right? Unless you forgot. <laughs> Knees together, feet together, jockey stance. And now you're going to extend your triceps behind. So put your weights up on your hip and just launch them behind. And you want to lean forward just a little bit and extend them behind. Once again, you slowly extend them. Okay? You don't swing. Nice and slow extension. Now add the jockey to it and extend, which now it almost looks like downhill skiing. <laughs> so if you live up north, you can envision yourself in the Olympics, either downhill skiing or going off the uh, ski jump. Nice and slow. Don't swing the weights. That day that we were doing this together, we were both in this position with each other. I felt like we were jumping off of the slope. I have given thee the victory. Oh, that's what I just love about his music. It's all scriptural. It's all uplifting. Yeah, so listen to music that edifies you, okay? We talked about it, but be careful what you allow into your eyes and your ear gates. Listen to music that edifies. And lift your voice up to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord. It will build you up. You cannot be depressed. You can't be down. It takes your eyes off of your circumstances. It will take your eyes off of everything but Jesus. Look unto Jesus when you worship. You can't do anything but be uplifted and happy and joy of the Lord is our strength. When you worship the Lord, you're strengthened. So yeah, everything that overcomes the world was born of God. And we are born of God, and it's our faith that overcomes the world. So just build yourself up in your faith. Allow this music to build up your faith. And then just trust in the Lord Jesus. You have victory. Oh, I wish I was on a ski slope right now. It'll be a little cooler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lori, we just touched on that scripture again. Share that with us again. Well, 1 John 5, 4, For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that is overcome the world, our faith. And 1 Corinthians 15, 57, But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. He is our victory. He has already done everything for us through the blood of Jesus. He has become our victory. Take your eyes off your circumstances. Put your eyes on Jesus. Let him help you through whatever you're going through. Don't look at your circumstances. Look at him. Worship him. Thank him. Continue to thank him. Let him take you through. He's going to take you through. Don't look at your circumstances. Move beyond that. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. And Pastor McCurdy is going to witness to that in his last song. Okay, this round, horse dance, which you've done already in rounds Ooh. three and six. So you want to get in round nine. Just get on your regular horse, not your jockey. You're not a jockey any longer. Now you're riding, uh, let's say, in a western. <laughs> so a little bit bigger horse. And then we're going to do tricep extensions over here. So just rest, 
Keep dumbbells on your shoulders. Keep your elbows tight to your head. And just like you're hammering the ceiling. Just nice slow extension. Hammer the ceiling. And then add them together. So get on your horse. And this is another hammer horse. So your horse stance and hammer. And this will come down into a nice horse stance. And hammer the ceiling. Advance, we go a couple. got a right to clap my hands. Yeah, we don't need to say anything. You just listen to the music and be ministered to by his music. I don't think we can do that with these weights in our hands, but... Oh, here he just praises him. And this is where you echo, so uh. you probably don't want us to sing along, but you could <laughs> echo him right here. Jesus, you got a right to leap for joy. Right to he does, too. We have the victory. That's what that right. scripture is all about. I got a right to leap for joy. I got a right to leap for joy. Yeah. And some of our camera crews want to leap for joy in the background. <laughs> this music's so uplifting. Play this in your car. Go to his MySpace page, order a couple CDs. Play it in your car, and it'll just, oh, it'll lift you up. You'll end up singing along and singing it afterwards. A couple days later, you find yourself singing it. Jesus, you're all I Jesus, Jesus, you're all I need. He is all we need. He loves us so much. He wants us to walk in victory. He wants us to stay in victory. Don't let storms of life come along and change what's in your heart. And if you felt like a storm has done that, then pray with me. Have your spirit renewed. Pray, dear Lord Jesus, forgive me. Forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart. Thank you that you died on the cross for me. Thank you that you shed your blood for me. Thank you that you rose again on the third day and you're coming back again for me. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Beloved, we pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. Thank you for joining us and let's just close early and just let this music, let Pastor McCurry and his daughter minister to us. God bless you. We love you guys. Never let me be, never let me be the same. I'm not leaving like I came. No, 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 no. I'm not leaving like I came.